Today's video is all about Walmart pythons and updating you guys on my trio, so stick around. My name is Nick Pulaski. Growing up, I have always had a passion for wildlife. And with that passion, along with my passion of filmmaking, I get taken on some amazing adventures creating wildlife content, getting up close with a variety of incredible animals. So come follow along as I pursue my goals of educating, inspiring, exploring, and conserving wildlife, all while having fun, seeing the beauty in our natural world. What is going on, everybody? Thank you so much for joining me here today. Today's video is all about Walma pythons, and in specific, my Walma pythons. So one of the two girls right here, this is Wendy and she is looking phenomenal. Definitely a little bit feistier than Willow is actually, so that's why I have the hook. Definitely just easier to work with her, and I just don't feel like taking a bite from her today. She definitely has a sassy attitude, but that just makes her a great, great eater, that's for sure. But yeah, she's a great girl. She's got some beautiful, beautiful colorations here that I just love for sure. She's definitely lighter, compares to Willow as well too, and I just love that about her. I love the variation. By the way, bear with me throughout this video. You can tell that I am a little bit nasally right now, and I definitely feel like I am coming down with something, but that is okay. We are going to persevere and power through it. Oma pythons are one of my favorite species that I work with, for sure, no doubt. I think they are just incredible. They're just so beautiful. They definitely have a lot of variability to them. Their attitudes are really cool. The way that they think and move and just kind of process different situations and how they handle their food, and just their personalities overall is just really really cool. I just love these guys to death. I think they are just super, super cool for sure. No matter if they are like Wendy, who is a little bit of a feistier girl, or if they are like Willow or Wally, who are just super, super chill, super, super mellow. I just love these guys to death. I think they are really, really cool. Again, I'm really excited because this year, unfortunately, we will not be producing Walma pythons. I shouldn't say unfortunately. We're just not ready to produce Walma pythons. Wally isn't up to size yet. And that's totally okay. Next year, for sure, he will be totally up to size and we will be in the process of breeding these guys and I think that's what's really exciting is I have never bred these guys working with these guys for so many years and racing these guys up it's going to be such a treat for sure to finally be producing babies from these two girls for sure who I have had for many many years already it's crazy to think I've probably had warm pythons now probably about five six years going on now kind of mellowing out now so I think we'll be okay it's normally just right when she gets picked up that's normally when she is like all food mode and and food motivated but right now totally totally mellow that's for sure and that's what we want out of this girl but yeah like I said if you see these guys in person the first thing or even on the camera the first thing that you fall in love with is that beautiful banding and that tiger like striping on these guys it's absolutely incredible and then you also see on the belly right here just all that beautiful blushing some of them don't have this it's a little bit more of a busier pattern on the belly a lot more speckling but she has this beautiful beautiful bright orange belly. The variation is just incredible and I'll show you that right now with Willow as well. So let me put Wendy back and I'll bring out Willow and then afterwards we'll show off Wally at the end. So stick around, let's pull out Willow. All right, and if you guys have been around the channel long enough, you definitely know who this girl is and you've seen her grow into who she is today. This big, big Walma female right here. This is Willow right here, my absolute sweetheart. I love this girl to death. She is just so puppy dog tame, very, very curious, and just I just love her attitude. She's such a sweet and placid snake. She has such an incredible attitude to her and such beautiful, beautiful patterning on her as well, too. And I just fell in love with her just based on her personality alone, along with this beautiful beautiful, beautiful side banding on her as well too. You can see too, on the bottom, it's not as clean as Wendy's is. She definitely has a little bit more of like speckling and browning on there. And that's totally okay. I don't mind that whatsoever. A lot of people, when they're picking out Womas and stuff like that, especially for breeding projects, they normally want something that's a little bit cleaner of a belly. Some like the variability and stuff like that too. But really, I just base it off of what's a really beautiful snake and what has a really beautiful personality as well too. I love this girl and I... I am so excited to see what we produce from this girl as well too. As a first time mama, I think it's going to be incredible. As we pair both these girls, I am excited. Hopefully we have success because this is definitely something that has been a, a dream of mine and definitely in the works for a long, long period of time for sure. And I've been taking it slow. You know, I've been growing these girls nice and slow as well as I picked out my male nice and slow too. I could have picked out a male like two, three years ago, but I was like, you know what? I didn't want to settle for just a certain male. I wanted to make sure it was the right male for sure that I wanted to be happy with pairing these girls with and I am super excited that I found that with the male that I 
got Wally. He is incredible. And yeah, I'm just super excited to have these girls because of the variability with them. This is definitely a darker girl, so I'm excited with the clutches that she's going to produce. And then we have Wendy, who's going to be a brighter girl, so I'm excited to see the variation with that as well. So I'm excited with her to see if we're going to get some brighter Walmas from her as well too. I'm sure we're going to get a mix from both. I mean, based on what Wally is as well too, he's definitely a brighter, brighter male for sure. So I'm really excited to see what he throws into the mix as well too. It's going to be a good time and I'm really excited. It's going to be a real difficult time for sure because I can't hold back all these Wilmas, but it's going to be really hard to try not to hold back all these Wilmas for sure. They are just so, so cool. But overall, I would definitely say that Wilma Pythons are definitely one of my top favorite snakes for sure. And fun fact, if you didn't know this already, I don't know if I've shared this, but I definitely have said it at shows to some people. The logo for NJP Exotics is actually based on a Woma Python. So just a little fun fact there, but yeah, I have always loved these guys for sure. They are just so, so cool. And I'm excited to work with these guys as well and share this with people so they can know what a Woma Python is and just how beautiful and cool these snakes are as well too. But yeah, man, she has put put on a tremendous amount of size, that's for sure. And she just keeps growing. They're both growing like weeds. All three of them are growing like weeds. So otherwise, without further ado, let me bring out Wally right now and we'll end this video with him. And last but certainly not least, we have Wally right here, my beautiful, beautiful Woma male. And I love this guy. He's like fire red. Literally, the camera is never going to pick this up. I'm telling you guys, even on the close-ups, this guy is a beautiful, beautiful fire red. Even his belly pattern is just distinguishably different in even comparisons to like Wendy, who has a beautiful orange blush belly. I mean, his is like fire, fire red. It's just incredible. It's beautiful. I mean, I have never seen anything like it. It makes sense. I mean, from where they're from in Australia, I mean, these guys definitely love to be in the sands of Australia and that is like a nice brown that is like super super red and has a lot of red tones to it so it makes sense that these snakes have that variability depending on where they're at in Australia to have those kind of brownish tones and reds in their patterning it's just beautiful for sure and this one just really strikes me as a really beautiful beautiful male and i am just so excited to pair this guy up he's got some beautiful banding as well he's growing like a weed for sure and i just am really excited he only glows and glows more with age that's for sure he's not dulling whatsoever so i'm just really excited with this guy and i mean his personality he is just a sweetheart for sure I trust this guy as well. I mean, we've been working with this guy heavily and he is just super, super placid as well. And funny enough too, I mean, he is one that will sometimes take food aggressively in a way, not aggressively, but just like strike really quick. But other times, most times I would say probably about 95% of the time, this guy is taking food super, super slow. I mean, he's investigating it, he's curious about it, and then he just takes it very politely. He's the same as Willow. I don't know if he's been watching her or what, but I mean, he's definitely taking Taking notes for sure. But these snakes are just super, super curious, very placid, I have noticed, with mine at least. And I just love how interesting these guys are and intrigued they are with the world. I mean, they definitely have a lot of curiosity to them that is just second to none. And I just really, really respect this species as a whole. I think they are just incredible. And I mean, I can't say enough good things about this species for sure. If I didn't, I wouldn't be working with them. And I don't think there's ever going to be a point in my life where I don't own these guys because of just how amazing, amazing they are. And I'm definitely going to be keeping generations down the line of these guys. Like I said, I'm going to be holding back babies both from Wendy's clutch as well as Willow's clutch for sure. And with this male in the mix as well too, Wally, I'm just super, super stoked. I mean, we are going to be producing some really cool stuff in the future. I know some people have been reaching out and asking if I am producing them this year, as well as I know some people are really wanting to get on a wait list for these guys once these guys actually produce as well too. And goes on and we we start actually getting to work and breeding with these guys we will definitely work on those types of things for sure but we're not going to get ahead of ourselves we still have to raise this guy up patiently doing that and we are taking our sweet sweet time for sure so don't let me handling wendy with a snake hook scare you these guys are just super super cool and i mean some of them sometimes just have that feeding response where they just cannot stop eating for sure if i just kept offering them food and stuff like that that's just how they are but i mean like i said guys these guys are just super 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 cool and super super mellow for the most part so I mean I can assure you with that that these guys are something that I have worked with like I said for about five six years now and I have always had a joy 
taking these guys out and handling these guys. They are just really, really intriguing to me personally. Let me know what you guys think personally. Would you guys ever own a Woma Python? What species of snakes do you personally own or you dream of owning one day? I want to hear it all. So let me know those things down in the comments as well. Otherwise, guys, that's today's video. I just wanted to update you guys. I know I haven't updated the Woma Pythons here in a while, so it's been a minute and I wanted to do something with them today and showing you guys how they are doing and what their progress is. Yeah, but otherwise, guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. It truly means the world to me. If you guys could do me a few favors, if you could like this video and subscribe to the channel, I would greatly appreciate it as well as share this video with a friend, anyone that may like Woma Pythons or is interested in Woma Pythons or maybe hasn't even heard of a Woma Python. Definitely share this video with them as well too. Definitely also check us out on our social media as well too. I'm always posting updates of these guys on there. So definitely check that out as well. Also make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when we upload. Otherwise guys, I appreciate you. Thanks for sticking around and checking out this video. I appreciate you guys sticking around and bearing with my terrible nasally sick voice right now. I don't know what's going on. I never get sick, but it's just one of those things that just happens. So I guess my three year streak of not getting sick has come to an end, but we're going to start a new one. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I appreciate you all as always. And until next time, we will see you guys soon. Take care. Yeah.